But the girl code also says to tell your friend if her man is cheating on her. I really don't know. <laughs> I think it's a very tricky one. And also because in the past I would have told you and it got me into like a, a few sticky situations in which they decided to forgive each other and just move on from the situation but I was the one being side-eyed Hey Amiga, what is up and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Jennifer Ross back at it again with yet another video. Today's video is going to be another episode of my series Girl Talk. And today we are going to be talking about more girl coats, okay? This video is basically a part two of my previous girl talk video in which I already talked about some girl coats that we as girls need to respect. So today I'm just gonna address some more of these and yeah, I hope that you are gonna like it. Um, if you are new to my channel, then hey girl, I am Jennifer Ross. I try to post videos every Sundays and every Wednesdays, but just know that sometimes it works out on a Sunday and a Wednesday but sometimes it doesn't okay I'm only human so please forgive me for that I hope you understand um, but nonetheless make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you subscribed and we are gonna go ahead and get into this video so the first one is to boost every woman's confidence Okay, that's the first code. Sometimes around me, I see some girls saying like, Oh my God, I look so horrible today. I look like a rag, la la la. And so, in the most cases, it's so unnecessary because they look perfectly fine. I see it as my duty to just tell them like, No, you look good. Stop talking like that about yourself. And I'm gonna just give her that little pat talk, you know? And you don't know what that can do to somebody's day, to somebody's mood. It can really help somebody else out, you know? So try to do that whenever you see uh, some girl talking like that about herself and it's totally unnecessary, then hype her up. Tell her like, no, it's not necessary to, to talk like that about yourself. You are looking completely fine, okay? Don't do that. And another one that falls in this same category to me is to give other women compliments. If I see somebody else looking good, then why would I not tell them like, you look really good? Give them that little compliment. You don't know what somebody may be going through and that little compliment can really put a big smile on somebody's face. And also it's completely for free. I get compliments all the time. So why would I not like, return the favor to other women. I don't understand that. So just don't be that girl like, she looks really cute, but mm, hell no, I'm not gonna tell her because what what is she gonna think? Like, don't think like that. Positive thoughts, tell the girl that she looks good. It's for free, sis. It's not that serious. Okay, so the next one is to go to the restroom with your friend. This does not need to be like that in all situations. If your friend is perfectly sober, then it's not necessary. But I do think that it's necessary when somebody is drunk, then go to the toilet with them because you don't know when they might need backup in that toilet. You know, you, you just don't know. Or if you see a friend of yours, like go to the toilet a little upset, go with her. Like. You know, you, you just don't know what is going on. Maybe they want to talk about it, maybe they don't. But I don't think that it can really hurt, you know? The next one is a very tricky one. But the girl code also says to tell your friend if her man is cheating on her. We're gonna like pretend that we're talking about a bestie situation right now. If my bestie's man was cheating on her, I would probably tell her. But if you are just a random friend, it also depends on like what connection we have and if I feel like I can tell you. But I would most probably just tell the guy to tell you and otherwise I will tell you. You know, it's kind of, I don't know, it's a tricky one I think, but I wouldn't like feel good like not telling you anything 
but at the same time do I really want to be the person to tell you I don't really know I just really think it's tricky let me know in the comments down below what you would do if you find out your bestie or your friends man has been cheating would you just totally look the other way what would what would you do like I really don't know I think it's a very tricky one and also because in the past I would have told you and it got me into like a, a few sticky situations in which they decided to forgive each other and just move on from the situation but I was the one being side-eyed so I always told myself that I was never gonna put myself in that situation again but just knowing myself knowing my heart and knowing who I am I wouldn't be able to just look the other way and be like you know what I did not see that like I don't know just let me know in the comments down below what you think <laughs> The next one is to assist in the changing room at all times. I totally can back this up. Yes, if we're going shopping and you need another size, of course I'm gonna go get it for you. Of course I'm gonna guard like the, the fitting room, making sure that no other woman or man walks in while you are trying on your things. Of course we're gonna do that. And also I think it is very important to give your honest opinion on things. Because I have definitely been in situations before where I had friends that I was trying on something and I saw that the other dress looked way way prettier but they recommended the ugly one of course we I'm no longer friends with those people you know but yeah just as this give your honest opinion if something doesn't look good don't don't lie about it and don't tell your friend to buy the ugly dress so that you can look better like Life is all about shining together, sis. Like, don't, don't be that shady friend, okay? The next one is to give guidance to your friend when she is torn about getting something. Now this one, I'm really that honest friend that if I feel like, you know, you are in a financial situation in which you don't really need that thing that you're trying to buy and you're asking me whether you should buy it or not, I'm just gonna give you my honest opinion. If I think you have a million things that look similar to that and you could use your money in other ways, then I'm definitely gonna tell you like, no honey, just, just don't do it. You have a million things already looking similar to that just just save your money but I also have friends that don't want to spoil themselves at no times and they can totally afford it and they deserve it then of course a friend like that I'm totally gonna advise you to buy it what it is that your heart is telling you to buy because you deserve it so just try to put things in reason for yourself and just be honest to yourself and to your friend if you see like you know what this bitch is always buying the same type of boots she doesn't need the tenth pair of boots in another color she doesn't need that then just tell her like you know sis I don't think you need that and if she is someone who is very 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 you know careful with her money and very good with her money and never spoils herself and she wants something really bad and she asks your advice then be honest about it too like So the next one is to help a girl out with a tampon or a pad. We have all been that girl before that your period came earlier than you expected and you were not prepared or you forgot and you were not prepared. The things like this, it can ha literally happen to anyone so it's not that big of a deal. Help each other out, it's not that serious and you would want the same help in return when you are in a crisis like that. So it can literally happen to anyone and it's not that big of a deal. Another tip is also to download a app on your phone and to just keep track of your period so that you are always prepared. But things like this, they can happen, okay? So the next one is also a little a tricky one, but I do, with all the best intentions, I do believe that this one is also a good one. But if you see a guy that is worthy of your friend, then work your magic, hook them up. Like, I don't see why. Uh, I've done this in the past in situations where I still see these two people being together, which I'm really, really proud of. 
but there has also been situations with me where my friend wanted to hook me up to someone that she thought was worthy of me and it totally backfired and the person became a stalker that is a story for another day we're not gonna do that today so this one it, you know you know take it with a grain of salt because it can be a tricky one but if your intentions are good and you know the the, the guy and you know like this is a match for my friends you want to see your friend happy then I don't think there's anything wrong with it so yeah So the next one is to defend your friend in her absence. Don't only talk nice to your friend in her face when she's around, but also if she's not around, then defend her, you know? Don't talk bad about her behind her back. That is really not cool. And how would you feel if people would do that to you? It's not cool, okay? We can try to pretend like we don't care, but it's, it's just however you turn it, it's just not cool. So don't do that. The next one is definitely one to match my previous point and it is to always keep secrets safe because sometimes you can be friends with someone for so many years and then something happens and you guys have a fallout that doesn't mean that you need to go run your mouth and tell all her business and put her business out there for everyone to know um no don't be like that that's really not cool because you probably also told things in confident confidentiality to her and how would you feel if she would put your business out there like a lot of this cattiness can totally be avoided like zip it even if you, if you are no longer friends that is fine but there's no reason to go and spill all the beans on everything that she has told you in the in the past that that's just not cool so the next one is something that i think i already discussed in my previous video but it doesn't hurt to say it again um to not abandon a drunk friend i know that it can be annoying if people just drink too much more than they can handle um but i ha used to have friends that would drink more than they could handle and i am that friend that cannot handle it at all so i know that about myself and i don't drink at all like i don't do alcoholic beverages outside of my house i only drink at home so that if i get drunk i just can immediately go to my bed but when you're out with people that have been drinking they are like experiencing things in a complete other level or world or whatever and it is just not fun to have to have to babysit your friends like that and i get that trust me i really get that but it's also not a good idea to just abandon them and just let them be you know that is just not cool at all um, so make sure you don't do that just take care of your friends and warn them like you know what you have to stop drinking that much if you feel like you're getting drunk like stop drinking because the things you are putting me through is just not cool so the last and final one is to never ditch your friends for a boy like that is not cool that's not cool of course it depends on the situation so to me ditching it sounds negative it sounds as if i would see a guy at a party and be like you know what bye friends i'm going home with this guy like don't be that friend okay like just don't but that is it amiga for today's video these are all the points that i wanted to address for this video i hope you liked it and i hope you enjoyed if you did make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe to my channel i am taking recommendations for videos so let me know what else you want to see on my channel because i will deliver okay and yes that is it for today. I love you so, so much. And I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye!